the sentencing on Thursday, in front of Superior Court Judge Lisa B. Lynch, comes two months after a jury convicted him on rape and sexual assault charges. Former Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein, 70, was found guilty of rape, forced oral copulation and another sexual misconduct count involving a woman known as Jane O1, following a previous trial in December. Weinstein appeared in person at court on Thursday for the verdict, where he was sentenced to 16 years in prison for rape and sexual assault. He maintained that the allegations made against him were a setup as the verdict was read out. The former film producer told the courtroom, Your Honor. I maintain that I am innocent. I never raped or sexually assaulted Jane Doe 1. I don't know that woman and she doesn't know me. He continued to claim in court, this is a made-up story. With all due respect, Jane Doe 1 is an actress. Jane Doe 1 can turn on the tears. Please don't sentence me to life in prison, I don't deserve it. I beg your mercy. During the previous trial in December, Deputy District Attorney Marlene Martinez said in her closing arguments, it is time for the defendant's reign of terror to end. It is time for the kingmaker to be brought to justice. Weinstein, who co-founded the entertainment company Miramax with brother Bob Weinstein, previously pleaded not guilty to 11 counts of rape and sexual assault involving five women in Los Angeles. After the December trial, the jury couldn't reach a decision on several counts, one including charges involving Jennifer Siebel Newsom, the wife of California Governor Gavin Newsom. The jury was also unable to reach verdicts on the allegations of another woman. A mistrial was subsequently declared due to the jury not being able to reach verdicts on these counts. Weinstein was then acquitted of a sexual battery allegation made by another woman. The sentencing, which took place today, was originally set to take place on January 9, but faced delays. It was previously ruled that only one of Weinstein's alleged victims would be permitted to read an impact statement at the hearing. The former Hollywood film producer is already serving a 23-year sentence for another rape and sexual assault conviction in New York, which is under appeal. Last week, Superior Court Judge Lynch rejected a request from Gloria Allred, an attorney for some of the women who testified at trial, to allow others to make statements about Weinstein in court. I'm not going to make this an open forum on Mr. Weinstein's conduct, Lynch said in response to the request. Sexual abuse allegations aimed at Weinstein fueled the hashtag MeToo movement on social media in October 2017. 